Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take uh, places that you save in Google Earth, then save that as a KML file, and then convert that into a CSV so that you can import those, or export those, however you want to call it, into a Garmin GPS device. This will actually work with many different GPS devices. What I have here, just a second, is a Garmin Street Pilot C340. This is kind of an older unit, but a lot of people have it. If you have a Street Pilot or a new V series or a TomTom Tom or any GPS device that can understand point of interest databases, which are CSV files, you'll be able to follow along with this and it should work. Now here in Google Earth, what I'm going to do very simply is I'm going to save a few places, uh, parks. Now, when I load Google Earth, on the left side here under the layers section there's actually a category called places of interest I'm going to expand that and then I'm going to check off parks and recreation areas and then you'll notice that on the map here there's a whole bunch of little green areas that light up these are all parks so I'm going to use the wheel and my mouse I'm going to click on the map first and then zoom in just a bit and then you see all these little trees everywhere every time I hover over a tree this is a park so what I can do is click any one of these, such as this one, and uh, what I can do is after that right click it and then left click save to my places. So what I'm going to do is just let me zoom back a little bit and I will go see if I can find a larger park here. Oh, there's one right there. And uh, there's Upper Tampa Bay County Park. So I'm going to right click the tree and I'll left click save to my places. Now you notice on the left side here under places under my places specifically, there it is. Now what I'll do here is I'm going to create a folder. So I'm going to right click my places and then left click add and then left click folder. And it's going to think about it for a second. It should come up with a little window. There it is. And uh, by default it calls it an untitled folder. So I'm just going to call it my custom places. I can put in a description if I want, uh, but I'm not going to. And then I can check off the option to allow this folder to be expanded. That's important. You want that checked. And then click OK. So now what I do is I have a folder called My Custom Places. I'm going to take the place I just saved and drag it into this folder. And if I expand it, you'll see that it's now in the folder. What I'm going to excuse me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select a few more parks. I'll take the one uh, right next to it here. I'll right click this, save to my places, drag it into custom places, and let's see if I can just pick one more bigger one here. Just a second. Uh, there's one down there. And I will right click this one, save to my places, and drag it into my custom places. Now the reason we put it into a folder is when we export it, it will export everything in that folder, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So when I have everything done, I'm going to right click the folder itself and then left click the option to save as. And then it's going to ask me where to save it. Now the save as type usually is a KMZ file. That's a Google Earth format. I'm going to switch this to KML and just call it my custom places and click save. And what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to launch the uh, KML CSV converter and I'll show you this right now. Let me just launch this software. This is free software, by the way. All this is free software. Let me just drag it into view. And then what I'm going to simply do is browse for the KML database and then just convert it. So I browse. There it is. I placed it on my desktop. Click open. What it's going to do is going to show all the uh, waypoints that I saved. I saved three parks. And then what I'm going to do is just click create. And that's it. It's lightning fast. It's already done. Now, at this point, I'm going to use the uh, Garmin software, the POI loader. And let me just launch this. And what I'm going to do is send these custom POIs to the Garmin device. So uh, once again, I'm going to say this works with all C-Series Street Pilots and it works with the, all the new V-Series too. So I'll click Next. And uh, I already have my this guy plugged in. You'll notice I have a uh, USB cable hooked up to it already. So this is all set to go then you see the software already found it and I'll click next and I'll choose the option to install new custom POIs onto the device click next I'm gonna browse for it and I will just select my desktop which is where the uh, CSV file is and then click next and that's it we're done now 
if I let me just bring Google Earth back up here. Okay. Now, in the C340 specifically, what I do is I tap uh, where to, and then I do my locations. This may be different depending on what model you have, but it's essentially roughly in the same place. And then what I do, let me see if I can get this into view here, is I don't know if you can see this as custom POIs. I hit that. And there, let's see if I can get this in view. Right there are all the uh, the three places that I sent from Google Earth, converted it, and sent it to the Street Pilot. And I'll choose one of these, you know, Lithia Park, and hit go. It's going to calculate it. I'll hit uh, simulate, yes. And then. And it's going to direct me to the location. Now, if I was, out, I was in the car, I'd be all set. So that's essentially how to do it. Uh, all the links to everything I mentioned here will be in the sidebar, which includes Google Earth itself at earth.google.com. The KML to CSV converter, which I'll also, that's on the SourceForge site, I'll link that. And the Garmin POI loader if you happen to have a POI device. And uh, the cool thing about this is you can essentially make unlimited POIs, and also you can make separate files for separate categories. The uh, Garmin C series, if you have multiple CSVs, it will import them all at the same time and then categorize them out, and that's pretty cool. And uh, that's essentially how to do it. If you have any comments, tips, tricks, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment or two. Take it easy.